Sup guys, uh, Heat King here, bringing you some new rumors and news on Resident Evil 9. So, yeah, we're fast approaching the potential reveal for this game. And, uh, of course, our favorite uh, leaker, Dust Gollum, has decided to grace us yet again with some new posts. Uh, one revealing that Resident Evil 9 has been delayed and that we're supposedly getting another Ori game. And then a new post um, about today, him contradicting himself, saying, no, it's not getting delayed. In fact, Resident Evil 9 is still coming out for next year and is being revealed this year. So yeah, let me let me go through all of this, all of these posts. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, guys, please. And remember to always take this stuff with a grain of salt because we all know by now that Dust Golem is full of... BS. Okay, so let's go through this then. Let's read his first post and what he had to say. Uh, this was posted on the 21st of April. So this was about a good week ago, a good week or two ago. At this very second, I have no frame of reference of when RE9 has been announced. Could be this summer, could be later. The me of right now does not know Pacifics. I do know a couple years ago that the goal was to reveal the game this year and aim for a 2025 release, but I've been hearing rumors the last few months that RM9 might have been eternally delayed, some for one reason or another. Some may take that badly, but honestly that's not even that unusual for this franchise. RE games more often than not hit some rocky point and get delayed some, some more uh, severely than others. To see if those murmurs end up true, but I've seen it suggested that another RE game may end up being announced and released first before RE9. But know this, this is not something I've heard con concurrently. It's a thing I've been hearing and following and plan to ask about the next opportunity I get through to get more concrete word on it. Just know that something, that's, so that's something I've been hearing rumors about from various sources. Part of me kind of wants it to be true though, since if this is true, I think the reveal of the RE game pushed forward to release before RE9 is pretty funny and would catch a lot of people off guard. To see what happens though... Yeah, so that was the post he made. And, um, okay, he makes it pretty straight up. He makes it really obvious, like, no, the, you know... This is just stuff I'm hearing. It's not 100% legit. Okay, so he's saying it. It's not. It's not. It's not legit, but it might happen. Okay. Personally, when I read that, I didn't believe it because if you guys have seen my other videos, I've made a good, coherent reason and point as to why RE9 would be coming out next year and why it's getting revealed this year. There is a pattern. There is a clear pattern that Capcom likes to follow. So for them to break that pattern now, of all things, would be very unexpected. But uh, what did interest me was the fact he said that another RE game was supposed to take its place. So what RE game is Capcom working on besides RE9? We already know RE5 remakes in development. I think that's that's pretty much pretty much you know confirmed in terms of like we know they're doing it, they're working on it. You know the R, you know the way RE4 remake ended certainly hinted at that. But he said it would be funny and catch people off guard. What game could be funny and catch people off guard? And I don't know what it could be, honestly. I can't think of... What, what, are they making a go-kart racing Ori game? Are they making a multiplayer Ori game? A fighting Ori game? Ima imagine a Street Fighter Ori game. Like, a, act like a proper Street Fighter Ori game with just Ori characters. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Or maybe it's Outbreak. Maybe they are working on Outbreak and they're thinking of reimagining that and doing a remake of those two and putting it together. That would be funny and unexpected. Because I think at this point, everyone is expecting RE5 remake and even a Code Veronica remake. I think an Outbreak remake would be unexpected. Even an RE1, which to be fair, I've been saying they should, they could be doing, would be unexpected as well. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. But now he's made a new post now recently, uh, where he's pretty much come up and said, and this was, this was today, May the 3rd, where he's pretty much come up and said that, and here's what he's had to say. I have good news rumors to deliver on Resident Evil 9. The possible delay I had heard rumors about can be pushed aside. RE9 should be revealed pretty soon and released next year. If what I heard previously holds true, should be in January. It'll have had about seven years in development. Okay. Okay, so first up, yep, 
I've, this is what I've been saying. Like, he's not saying anything that's new or different to what I've been saying. I've been saying from from day one that you know there's a four year gap that Capcom likes to take with their games from RE7 to RE8, from RE2 remake to RE4 remake. There's a, there's a four year gap there, and it's pretty bloody obvious that RE9 would be coming out next year for reveal this year. I'm convinced we are getting a showcase sometime either this month. Or next, if the rumors are true, we're supposed to be getting some kind of showcase or stay of play this month. Uh, Xbox has its showcase on the 9th of June next month. It's very likely we could be, you know, if the rumors are not true, we could be getting a state of play or PS showcase ne next month as well because of how a lot of the RE games recently have all been revealed in June events. So that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going with. Anyway, Dust continues. January 2025, I, I hadn't heard now. Just being a date I've heard previously, they probably are still aiming for, but never know in game dev. I won't leak rumor any other details of the game, just let Capcom do their thing and let them surprise people. Okay, so if you guys remember the other leaks that recently came out about RE9 potentially being two games and coming out, and you know, the first part coming out in October 25, I think that's, you know, it's pretty much safe to say that rumor was BS, okay? It's BS. At first, I thought, you know, if Dusk is right and the game's been delayed, maybe it's because, you know, it is a big game and maybe they are doing it in two parts. Maybe that's why. But that's not the case. He's saying that January 25 is meant to be, potentially, potentially meant to be the release date. You know, at least here he's not sitting down going, oh yeah, this is confirmed. No, he's sitting going, it's what I've heard. He's not saying it's legit. So, you know, he's been a bit more respectable here right now so okay well done on you well done on you you're not you're going you're not going out stating facts you're just stating rumors that's what he's pretty much saying and that's good that's good this i can kind of work with it's like okay okay so it would kind of make sense because re7 and re2 uh, remake both came out in january uh so and if the game has been in development for seven years it would make sense that it would be it would be a game coming up earlier right because what more are they working on? What more are they doing, right? He's also saying that he's not going to leak any more rumors or details about the game. Honestly, I'd be happy with that because I want to be surprised. I want to be able to go into a showcase and be surprised with what the game is going to be. RE7, I knew instantly what it was. You know, the moment they, they revealed that, oh, this was a demo, this was Kitchen, it was like, it's RE7. The moment RE8's reveal came, you know, we started seeing werewolves, snow environments. I was like, this is RE8. It's Village, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'd like it to be more similar to how RE2 Remake and RE4 Remake were revealed. Where we're just sort of there, sitting there, guessing it and realizing, hold on a second, this, this is an RE game, isn't it? So... That's kind of what I'm hoping they do here because I love I love the way Capcom likes to reveal the RE games. So Dust not revealing any details here, I'm happy with because I want to be surprised. I want to be flawed. I want to be sitting there watching that showcase and being like, oh my god. And having my mind blown. So yeah, uh, continuing on. Just to explain something, RE9 started early dev in early 2018 as a possible RE8. Rillage has started dev as RE8, then became a spin-off title, then ultimately became RE8 again. This game became RE9 ultimately, and yes, RE8 and RE9 were in dev at the same time. So this is a bit of interesting thing. So uh, he's still sticking with the story that RE8 originally was like became a spin-off and then became RE8 again, and that, that this game was originally RE8, then became RE9. So that makes me wonder then. From the way this sounds, it would probably mean the story isn't continuing from where RE8 ended. Because I would assume that uh, re 9 story would continue from the ending, not the epilogue, the ending of RE8 with Chris and the BSA heading to the uh, main HQ branch of the BSA to figure out what all that, um, you know, BSA zombie soldier stuff they were doing, the bioweapon stuff, so... But if if this game was originally RE8, this makes it sound like this was this was a different kind of story, maybe. Or you know, because it's been developing in seven years, they would have had a lot of time to change the story elements to fit and to continue from where RE8 left off, right? So because you have to gotta keep in mind, right? Where RE games they always change development uh, at some point and things that were originally meant to come out are changed around they become something else remember resident evil for example resident evil 2 uh, 1.5 and then resident evil 2 or resident evil you know 3.5 you know etc the hookman edition the fog edition the mist edition whatever you want to call it so things do change around 
Um, RE games are usually greenlit in batches and planned out for a few years to keep the series near annual. As I've said a few times before, there was this funny period in 2018 that RE2, RE3, RE4, RE8, and RE9 were all in dev at the same time. There's something kind of similar that happened. Something similar that happened what? Uh, recently, as another batch of RE games were greenlit in early 2023. RE9 has the biggest budget and longest dev time of any RE game to date and I've described previously as ambitious. None of this last part is new. It's stuff I've been uh, re-irritating for years. So yes, this is true. He's been saying this for years that this is the biggest RE game to date. And the fact that it's been in development for seven years. So basically since RE8 was in development as well. So what, from 28, from 2018? From 2018, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then when it comes out, 25, so yeah, 7 years. Currently 6 years, but by the time it comes out, 7 years. So 7 years in development. That is uh, crazy to think about, because it makes you wonder how big this game is. It's meant to be, the, it's meant to be, it's got the biggest budget and the longest dev time, and ambitious. It has to be a pretty big game, it can't be a small, short game. And it also makes me wonder whether this game is going to be fully complete when it comes out, in terms of... They're not going to waste their time with DLC. Like, maybe they'll do a DLC. Maybe they'll do, like, a small DLC like they did with uh, the Shadows of Rose DLC. But I feel like everything they want to put into this game, they're going to put into it. And then that's that. Like, anything extra will be sort of small when it comes to the DLC stuff. Because we did get DLC for 7. We did get DLC for 8 eventually. So, it makes you wonder how big this game is. Like... And what characters are going to be in it? What What's it going to feature? If this really is an open world game for the most part, what kind of open world are we talking about here? And who's returning, right? So this is what's got me very excited. And it's not because... And it's not even him saying these rumors as well. There have been other leakers in the past that have sort of said similar things. So he's not the first to come and say this. Oh yeah, this is the biggest RE game. No, so... It has to be believed. This part has to be true. So... Yeah, I'm kind of excited, but I'm also excited to know what the other RE games they're working on. He's saying that in 2018, they, they you know, they, they were already working on RE2, 3, 4, 8, and 9. So they were already working on 5 RE games at the time of 2018. We're in 2023 now, and currently we know they're working on RE9 and RE5 Remake. What are the other 3 games, right? What are the other 3 games they're working on? And I'm hoping... I'm hoping one of them is called Veronica, and I'm hoping the other one is... <laughs> like I said, I wouldn't mind it. I'm hoping it's RE1 again. I wouldn't mind. Ima imagine getting an RE1 remake in the RE engine, but with first-person mode, for example. That'd be different. That'd be unique. Um, I also wouldn't mind, like I said, an Outbreak uh, remake. That would be amazing. Getting, getting, you know, both of those games put together, reimagined, remade, all 10 scenarios, maybe some new scenarios. I would love for them to do a Clock Tower scenario, like that would be possible. Since we didn't get an RE3 remake, why not do an exclusive Clock Tower scenario and put it into the uh, Outbreak remake? That would be pretty amazing. But yeah, I am convinced. I am convinced RE9 is, and this isn't just from Dos saying this. I know for a fact from my own research, from, from looking at the way that Capcom has structured and revealed and marketed these games before the previous titles that re9 is getting revealed this year okay sometime this month or next i'm gonna say between i'm gonna say between may and july right between now and july we're gonna get a reveal it's gonna happen very soon even Dusk is saying it's happening soon and it's like yeah obviously it's happening soon i mean there are rumors that we're gonna get a showcase in may so Maybe, maybe it's this month, maybe this is the month, maybe in the next few weeks we're getting that reveal, and then obviously a January release date, that would be the dream come true, that would be, that would be amazing, that would be awesome, and I'm just curious where it's going to be, I'm curious, because if it is coming out in January, and the game's getting revealed this month, then let's see, we got June, July, August, September, October, November, December, that gives us seven months of marketing to figure out what this game's about, who's coming back, what the story's going to be, so... I'm excited guys, I'm excited and I can't wait and yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. Uh, I'm just surprised that he quickly came out and made a post going, guys, I was I was wrong about that stuff and like, it's like, good, good, you're, you're finally learning not to come out and say, oh yeah, this stuff is legit. He's, he's sitting down going, these are rumors, this is stuff I've heard, these are rumors, they're not legit. I'm, you know, I'm, this is, I'm just posting stuff I've heard, so, and it's like, good, well done. You're starting to learn what a leaker is meant to do, okay? 
So, yeah, can't wait for this. Can't wait. As always, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you or hear you when I shall see you and hear you. And, yeah, can't wait, guys. Can't wait. I'm anticipating that showcase. Like, I'm hoping it's this month. I'm hoping. I've been under the weather for, like, a good three weeks now. I need some positivity, okay? I need some positivity. Give it to me, Capcom. Give it to me. Inject it into my veins, please. <laughs> okay? Anyway, guys, take care and bye.